Only you episode one part two. Yes, okay thank you. I'm sorry mama, it was Rizwan's phone from the bank. You called us here? Yes, where's she? Here I am. Say what you want. Maruk called. Oh, how's she? She's fine. But she's worried about a beer. Why? What happened to your granddaughter? She's kinda worried. The girl is getting younger. There's a big difference in that environment. She should have thought about it. Before leaving. Yes, she didn't go out her happiness. We all wanted her to remarry again. When Junaid's proposal came, we could not deny it. The mistake we made, we didn't investigate. What's the mistake in this, Mama? It's good that Meru got married again. And a beer too got a father. Meru is happy now. Right? Junaid is not a good man. Meru told me a lot of things. After hearing, I told her to take her hand and come back to Pakistan. We'll see a proposal for her here. What's this weird thing you're saying? What proposals are waiting here? For her? And, she's a girl from abroad. She'll have a different temperament. How will she survive here? When our own don't put hand on their own. Then will people come from outside? Farah, stop it. What discussion have you started? Can't you see? That mama is already worried. Yes, you're absolutely right. We're the reason for mama's worry. Leave her mama, so you wanted to say something? Please tell me. It's nothing. Yes? Do you need anything? You. Junaid, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing here? And how did you come to her room? Why are you screaming so much? The girl is sleeping. And what do you mean by how did I come? Didn't you see? She's lying in the weird angle. What did you want? That she gets stiff neck. I know your intentions well. I've been noticing you for a long time. Oh God, God forbid. God forbid. Meaning, you're doubting my intentions. I could never even imagine. That you had such dirty thinking. Actually, you're jealous, that I don't give attention to you. I, just care about our daughter. For God's sake, shut up. Mama, what happened? Abir, you won't live here anymore. You're not safe here. What's wrong? You scared me. I'm sorry. I brought coffee. No thanks. I've told you so many times that don't come in my room without knocking. Got it? What? Do you need anything? Please, get out of my way.